In the latest release of Illustrator, Illustrator 2020, there's a new feature in here that's created a more robust system for simplifying your vector shapes and the anchor points in your vectors. Uh, so we're gonna dive into that. I'm gonna show you how you can do that, uh, whether you've live traced an element and you've ended up with too many anchor points, or in this case, we're gonna outline a piece of text and then make it a little bit easier to edit. Um, or if you've created your own vector shapes and just probably use the pen tool a little bit too much and you've got too many anchor points and you wanna simplify what you're working with. By the way, this video is brought to you by Creative Market. They're having a Black Friday sale. So if you guys use the link in the description, I love.creativemarket.com slash pixel and bracket, they'll know that I sent you over there. You guys can get 20% off the highest item in your shopping cart uh, by using the code 00000, 000, 000, 000 Friday. Do you get it? It's Black Friday. Anyway, you can use that code from now until December 3rd. Uh, this is 2019 when this video is getting released. So head on over there, see if there's something awesome you guys wanna pick up, or you can just get six free products by signing up uh, through the link. It's all free. And actually the font right now, I just downloaded from their free goods. There's a monoline font that pairs with a script font. It's actually pretty good. It's called American Lemon Sand. So that's what we're gonna use in this tutorial. So I've typed the letter S out here and I'm just gonna outline that really quick with my quick actions. Uh, the shortcut key for that is Shift Command O or Shift Control O if you're on a PC. And now I have this selected and I've made the anchor points as large as I could possibly make them so you guys can see them. When I switch over to the direct selection tool with the shortcut key A, I can see all the anchor points that make up this S. And I can tell you right now that this is too many anchor points for this shape. It can definitely be simplified. To do that, we're gonna go up to object, down to path, and then simplify. And that's gonna pull open this first little smaller panel that's like the simplify panel, and it's a simplified version of the simplify path panel. And you can really quickly just decrease the number of points in this shape to the lowest is eight, and it gets a little bit wonky there. Uh, you can create 10 points or maybe 24 points would be the max there. But if we want a little bit more control in this, we can click the three dots and that's gonna open up more options, which is, in my opinion, the better menu to use for this simplify action. To start with, we can simplify the curve. So this is essentially the number of points. This is kind of like that first slider that we were looking at. And then we can also adjust the smoothness and the sharpness of our corners. And there's also an auto simplify button. So we can click that and it's gonna kind of give you what Illustrator automatically thinks is probably the best simplification of your shape. You can show the original path as well. So you can see that it's highlighting that with the green anchor points and showing just how many anchor points were in our shape before. And that's also gonna show you where the new shape is gonna kind of overlap with the old shape and whether or not you're really kind of affecting the shape too much or getting it a little oversimplified where you're losing the original quality of your shape. So you wanna kind of find a balance there with how much you simplify your shape and how much you're sort of losing from the overall uh, original shape. And of course you can check and uncheck the preview option as well. I believe it defaults to being check marked, which is nice because most of the time it doesn't in these panels. So I'm gonna leave it on auto simplify and we can hit okay and we've simplified our S. We've removed the points. It went from almost 40 points down to just about 10 points. And so I think this is a great way to really simplify your vector shapes. If you have, for whatever reason, there's many ways you can end up with too many anchor points, whether you outline text, maybe you live trace something, maybe you just was trying to create a shape and use too many points. You can use this feature to simplify it and make that shape easier to work with. That's it for this tutorial. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Remember to use 000000 Friday for the Black Friday sale over at Creative Market. Head on over there with the link in the description. Really helps me out, helps them out, helps you out. You guys get 20% off the highest item in your cart. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.